Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So today we are going to discuss about the superficial fascia and some of the cutaneous nerves, arteries and lymph vessels containing in the gluteal region. So actually the superficial fascia in the gluteal region is thick and contains abundant subcutaneous fat. It is thick as well as it also contains abundant subcutaneous fat particularly in, in adult females which is responsible for a characteristic round contour of buttock in them. So firstly we will begin with the cutaneous nerves in the gluteal region. Cutaneous nerves in the gluteal region. So the cutaneous nerves of the gluteal region are also derived from the several sources and they converge in this region. Actually in the lateral view of the human body we are going to dis describe uh, this buttock into four compartments. We have the upper anterior compartment, then we have the lower anterior compartment, upper posterior compartment and the lower posterior compartment and different nerves will converge through these compartments and they supply each one of them. Firstly, we will begin with the upper anterior compartment. Upper anterior compartment of buttock is supplied by the lateral cutaneous branch of the subcostal nerve as well as the iliohypogastric nerve. We have the subcostal nerve as well as iliohypogastric nerve. Subcostal nerve is of a T2 spinal segment and iliohypogastric is of L1 spinal segment. And these two nerves, their cutaneous branches will supply the upper anterior quadrant of the buttocks. And when it comes to the lower anterior quadrant, lower anterior quadrant is supplied by the posterior division of the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh. We have the lateral nerve of the thigh, lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh and it has a spinal segments of L2 and L3. And when it comes to the upper posterior quadrant, upper posterior quadrant is supplied by the dorsal rami of dorsal rami of we have S1, S2, S3 as well as L1, L2 and L3. Dorsal rami of these spinal segments will supply the upper posterior quadrant of the gluteal region. And finally, we have the lower posterior compartment and lower posterior compartment is supplied by the perforating cutaneous nerves of S2 and S3 spinal segments and also posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh which includes S1, S2 and S3 spinal segment. This is about the posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh and this is about the perforating cutaneous nerves. So basically this is about the cutaneous nerves of the gluteal region. A small uh, discussion about the cutaneous arteries as well as the lymph vessels. What about cutaneous arteries? When it comes to cutaneous arteries supplying the gluteal region, they are derived from the superior and the inferior gluteal nerves, gluteal arteries. Superior and the inferior gluteal arteries and when it comes to the lymph vessels, the lymph vessels from the gluteal region, they drain into the lateral group of superficial inguinal lymph nodes. We have the lateral group of superficial inguinal lymph nodes. Inguinal lymph nodes. So that's what they will supply the super, uh, lymph vessels of the gluteal region and about the uh, cutaneous arteries of the gluteal region and this is about the cutaneous innervation of the gluteal region. So if you like the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and also share it to your other friends who want to learn more about the anatomy. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.